In the previous episode, we fished our way back to Petersburg. We saw sea lions, whales, icebergs. We celebrated Elise's birthday and took turns helping our injured dog, Milo. Our first family trip in the boat. since our fridge and freezer have gone belly up they get sporadically cold and then wet so we will be eating a lot of canned foods until we get back to sick to a little hideaway, warm springs. Super cool. Keep seeing the entrance and we've never been in. This is cool. This is very pretty. Think we can get our sailboat in here? No. No. Somebody got rock art up here. That is cool. Show at least that. This is cool. Yes, it is. So that's about eight to ten feet deep right there. Gotcha. Huh? Ooh, and then there's... With some brush. <laughs> there's some serious vegetation underneath. So right now, current is still coming in. Yep. Oh, the little fries. Yeah, I see them, the little tiny ones. No, these are like three feet long. 
Oh, okay. Well, I just saw. The rock I have yep. Whoop. This is pretty cool, huh? Yes, this is fantastic. It is a lot smaller when the tide is out. So super cool. Always wanted to check that out. Big fish, woo, that's a whole school of big fish. Sweet. And there is the little secret hideaway we just checked out. going to the first landing and it's pretty much straight up. <laughs> and the boardwalk leads up to hot springs and a lake up top. But the bears are in full force so Taking protection is a must. First thing you see when you come off the ramp. Although now they're also eating all the salmon. It's a working lunch. He's got his depth finder, his range finder, his cup of noodles, a juice, his work vest, and a nice warm sunny day. Slow tide, so he's checking everything out in the bay. We know quite a few places we can anchor, but he's just checking it out to make sure where we can take the boat. Research is his gig. She's now got all her hats hanging back on her. Well, minus like how many hats are we minus, Elise? Five. Five hats. We need more hooks. 
We've got our little bucket chair. Oh, hi, Patches. You can kill all the flies for mom. We've got to fix Elisa's cabinet back here. It doesn't quite work right, so as soon as we get it remanufactured, we'll be good. And she can store all of her stuff in her cabinet again. Making our first pie on the boat with the berries in the freezer before they go bad since we just lost our fridge and freezer. Didn't have a rolling pin, so we're using a mug with tin foil wrapped on it. Yum, yum. Baking our first berry pie. Well, actually. We made it. Looks pretty good. Check out the flower. Release me that flower. So pretty. Cove. It is peaceful and quiet and actually incredibly warm today. Dogs are sunning, quite content. Elise is recovering from Chatham. Chatham Strait was kind of crazy today. So pretty out here. Our new saline friends from Warmer Springs. First excursion to land to check out the cabin. Nice. That's awesome. Little fire pit overlooking the bay. That is nice. So this is what you can expect at Appleton Cove Cabin. It's fantastic. Nice heater. Okay. Will do. So two bunks. Looks like one full size. Three twins. Big table. Kitchen area. Then out the back door, stairs down. And that right there, guys, is luxury because you get a toilet seat. And I'm not joking. <laughs> that is luxury out here. There are berries here too. Yeah. Edible berries and bears. 
Coastal Browns. They got a journal book here. Yeah. Tie your food out of reach. Heading into Surge's Narrows. We're on our way back to Sitka. In the next episode, we arrive in Sitka and get right to work with finishing where we left off with the electrician, repairing the fridge, and working on the dinghy davit and fuel systems. The day the electrician was fast, so cleanup was easy.